Welcome back to another at-home workout with me. <laughs> Today's workout, we are focusing all on the upper body. That being said, I steered away from using any dumbbells or bands, just any gym equipment. We still do use bits and bobs, but they're all things that most people have laying around the house. Now, one thing to keep in mind when going into this, since it is a lot more body weight and things found around the house, you are gonna have to push yourself a little bit harder that meaning more reps. So for the rep range, you want to go until failure. So you don't want to stop at like your typical 8-10 reps for like a bicep curl. You want to be going until your arm can't go anymore. This is how you're actually going to be able to continue to progress and keep up with your strength while using things from home versus using the gym equipment. Since today's video is more so about upper body and building muscle, everyone's rep range is going to be a little bit different. So I'm not going to tell you how many rep ranges I do. I'm not going to be timing the video just because once again, everyone is going to be different and it really depends on you and how your body is feeling today. So it's going to be different for everyone. So before I just jump into the video, I'm going to quickly show you all the things you're going to need to collect around the house before we get started. Don't worry, it's not too much, but let me show you. First things first, if you have hardwood like myself, you are going to want to find some sort of mat, towel, really anything that's going to be gripped to the floor because we are going to be using a chair. If you don't have a chair for whatever reason, you can use a couch or your bed. It's just less convenient because you are gonna have to move around and go to new areas of the house, where this way you can kind of just bring everything to you so the workout is more efficient. Next, you are going to need something heavy. I personally use books. So I have a stack of books right here. This is what I will be using as my something heavy. And lastly, you are going to need a backpack. That being said, if your backpack does not have a handle, you will need to use something else, such as a purse or a reusable shopping bag, anything that is sturdy and has a handle for you to hold on to. Now that is all the equipment you need for this video. So just put me on pause right now and go find all the equipment and then come right back here and join me for the workout. Okay, to start this workout off, we're gonna start with tricep dips. So you're going to want to be on the floor. Now I do have three variations of this to kind of progress it. First off, you wanna get on the floor and you wanna place your hands just behind you with your fingers spread apart just to distribute your weight a little more evenly. Then you want your feet to be upwards so your heels on the mat and your butt to be up in the air. Now to do the tricep dip, you want to drop your elbows back and then straighten your arms back up. You do not want to be pushing down and up from your butt because that will not work your tricep. So you're always pushing down and up through your arms, never through your butt. It should not be pulling or pushing you at all. Otherwise this workout will not be very effective. If you do want it to be a little more challenging though, we can do that for you. So put your arms back behind you, go up. But when you're up now, raise one leg. So I'm going to raise my right leg and go. And then all you do is switch legs. And that will make it a little more challenging as you're less stable with your legs. You have to tighten your core a little more and a little bit more pressure in your triceps. Now for the third variation, you're gonna need your chair. And this is going to resemble more of a traditional tricep dip in the gym with a bench. So grab onto the outer edges of your chair, straighten your body out and drop down. Make sure your chest is up. You don't want it to be caving inwards. You want to always stay very open and straight. Now I find these ones to be definitely a little more challenging. So those are the three variations from 
I find easiest to most challenging for the tricep dip. Moving into our second exercise, we are going to be doing up and down planks. Get into a plank position, booty down, straight, and you want to lift up, start with your left hand or right hand, doesn't matter, but up with your left, up with your right, down with your left, down with your right, and then you go up with your right, up with your left, down with your right, down with your left. So always switching arms. So now left, right. Okay, so next we're gonna do plank walkout and then touch the opposite shoulder. This is gonna be activating our core and our arms. So for this movement, you just want to start in a standing position and then you want to bend at your hips and walk yourself out, keeping your body straight, your core tight, and then touch your opposite shoulder and walk it back up. And back to standing position. So that is the full movement. So let me show you a few. So now I will show you a few. Now for your shoulders, I want you to grab your backpack from the bottom as it's a little easier to hold that way. And I want you to bring your shoulders up. Now since you can't really see my face because I'm holding a backpack, I will come to the side. Make sure your traps are down. Core is tight and just working the shoulders. are repping it out, you aren't just doing a certain number, you're really looking for the burn and when your body's telling you, you have done enough. Now while we have the backpack all set up, we are going to do tricep overhead extension. So grab the backpack, flip it behind your back with your palm facing forward and all you're going to do is up and down. Make sure you are relaxing your trap and shoulder area and really pushing through your tricep because this is really easy to overactivate your traps if you are not conscious of the movement. Okay, and the last movement we're gonna do with the backpack is a backpack overhead press. I will show you from the side. So you want to grab your backpack, flip it up, and you might want this one a little heavier. Once again, focus on using your shoulders 
to push up, not your trap. So you want to go. Keep your core tight. And that is how we're going to get our shoulders burning, our biceps burning, and our triceps burning, all with a backpack and some books. Now, if you ask me, that is quite the multitasking little tool we got ourselves going on. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video and were able to at least take some of the workouts out and implement them into your home routines because they are truly very effective. Don't forget to give it up and subscribe down below. As this all really helps me out, it supports me, it lets me know you're enjoying my content. Please, 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 if there's any other videos you want me to cover, just comment down below or send me a DM on Instagram. I'm really here just having fun. I enjoy making videos. And if I can better serve any of you out there, I'm so happy to do so. And I hope you feel absolutely just awesome and fulfilled and proud of yourself for doing an at-home workout because it is not easy to force yourself to work out from home. It is just, whew, let me tell you, there's a million things like I'd rather be at the gym, going for a run, being outside, playing sports, doing anything than sitting in my house and working out because my house is where I want to like watch TV, cook some food, nap. So working out is just, whew. But once you do it, you will feel absolutely amazing. I can guarantee you of that. I just wanna thank all of you for subscribing and just supporting me because it's just so much fun for me to make these videos and I love that you guys are also enjoying me posting because it's kind of a weird thing like posting yourself on YouTube and you're just, it's something that you, you're never really sure how people are gonna to react to, but at the end of the day, uh, it's something I enjoy doing. So I'm just gonna to continue to do it, and I just wanna thank you all for watching and subscribing because it just means a lot to me. So enjoy the rest of your beautiful day, and 